Gemini, happy Scorpio season. Claim those Scorpio season blessings down in the comment section, as well as the sign of the person that you are dealing with. If you're a cross watching tap in, drop your flag. Let me know your city, state, country that you are watching in. Gemini, what does the Scorpio season have to offer you? Big Scorpio energy here with the ancestors. Death, a rebirth, transition. Closing one door so that new doors can open. And when you close those doors, these new doors are going to open. And it's an welcoming you with open arms. These new opportunities, these new blessings. This mother of baskets, the queen of cups, could also be a new lover coming in. Whether you're looking for a king or a queen coming in, waiting for you to present yourself. Okay, Gemini, we have the ten of knives. In the reverse, closing out certain cycles here and the knight or the daughter of knives. This is information coming in, rushing in, maybe about this transition, this new opportunity, this new person coming in, a breakup, closing one door, maybe a betrayal, a breakup, and now this new person is ready to present themselves. Oh yes, there was a betrayal here. Ooh, this five of coins, Taurus energy here in the reverse. And the marriage card, the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, Gemini, the Son of Coins underneath here, Earth, new things coming in. This is a new person coming your way for this marriage card. So for those of you looking for a relationship, Gemini's, for those of you looking for new work, business opportunities, know that. You're either going to have to look outside of your current company, current business partnership, current employer. You're not changing departments. Your opportunity is outside of wherever it is that you currently are. You are looking for a place of growth or a relationship that can grow into something more. You're not going to stay where you currently are. Five of coins, releasing things, being stuck between a rock and a hard place. That being clarified by this aunt, Caroline, the wheel of fortune, luck spinning in your favor. We are out of that Mercury retrograde, thank heavens. But this is you also having the spotlight put on you. And this betrayal with this five of coins, um, somebody pulling the rug out from underneath somebody, it could be that somebody was trying to betray you, Gemini, and they got caught red-handed. Somebody did get caught red-handed here with this mother of baskets. Caught red-handed, this 10 of knives, this major betrayal here being reversed. An Uno card draw, pick up four on somebody, and that's you closing the door on this, on a, a major betrayal here. This is this person and maybe even a group of people that were a part of this reaching out, trying to get a hold of you, trying to contact you, wanting to get a response from you. But you are moving on, leaving things behind that are no longer serving you. And with this ancestors being clarified by the daughter of coins or the Knight of Pentacles. This is the most solid and stable Knight in the deck, but this is the most slow moving. And with this being in reverse, Gemini, this is you being slow to either accept this transition, maybe you're being slow to um, close out this cycle, maybe you're fighting this ending, but there are better opportunities for you on the other side of this. You need to let this go. Gemini, what is this thing? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, fighting this, walking away with the Eight of Baskets. Eight being a number of balance, balance being restored here. This eight being in the reverse, this is a card of walking away, water, energy. We're in Scorpio season. This is you refusing to end this or to allow this to end. And then we, here we have the Knight of Wands, Daughter of Sticks coming in. Daughter of Knives, Daughter of Sticks coming in. These Knights making, somebody coming in making fast moves, fast action. Maybe this is somebody coming in to try and explain something. Maybe this is you just picking up, reach, changing directions and leaving this thing behind with this 10 of knives and not answering your phone. Scorpio season is bringing a transition and a major change. Oh, yes. People are reaching out to you for answers because they don't know what is going on here with this Miss Ida and the eight of knives, more air energy and big Leo energy here with the big mama and the gullet jack. This eight of swords is somebody feeling stuck, trapped in a situation not knowing which way to go, which way they can possibly go. They're at a crossroads either way they turn. But this is due to a lack of lies. 
purposeful miscommunication, sending somebody mixed messages and wanting to keep them not in the know here with this Miss Ida Eight of Swords. The sun, triumph, happiness, brand new beginnings, the grass being greener here on the other side, big Leo energy here, Pisces energy in the reverse with the gullah jack, the hane man. This is clarity and new perspective. This is truth being revealed here with the sun and this gullah jack, this hangman. Oh, yes. Truth and clarity about these secrets, about this person's hidden agendas, what was really going on here, this betrayal. Red flag showing up, the universe stepping in. Could have been dealing with a Taurus here with this father of coins. But more earth energy. This could be somebody that's a Taurus, somebody who's very stubborn, or somebody's coins being upside down and or affected by this betrayal, or somebody was trying to affect your coins, steal your money, mess you up financially. And with this five of knives, more lies. More lies, trying to avoid a conflict here. This is just somebody being very deceitful. More crossroads energy here with the two of wands. Where are you going? Traveling. This is you moving on. Needing to make a choice about where it is that you're going. Because you're because what I can tell you is where you are at right now, Gemini, you are not going to be there very long. Let's get into this mother of baskets. Let's get into this ten of knives. What is this betrayal in reverse? We see this. We see that somebody's secrets are being exposed here. But what was this Ten of Knives moment? What is this Ten of Knives moment that's getting ready to come? Gemini, the Six of Baskets, a proposal. The proposal card, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Four of Swords, air energy. Sitting, waiting on something before you speak on it waiting for some information to come in, sleeping on some information, really processing something before you speak on it. And then I have Libra energy here with the Dr. Buzzard. Again, we have the Aunt Caroline, the Wheel of Fortune, luck spinning in your favor or out of the favor of somebody else, turning on somebody. This is a major plot twist. And this could be that this, per this is a legal issue. This is some type of proposal, something given to somebody else that really belonged to you. And this could be you sitting back gathering all the information, all the facts before you can make it a legal thing. Before you can get justice and bring all the facts to the table here and confront somebody with this. This could be a situation where somebody wanted to win at all costs here with the six of wands in the reverse. Leo energy here, another six with the courting. Big Gemini, here you are showing up in the reverse. That could be you're dealing with another Gemini. This could be a third party situation, another lover here in the background. Oh, for those of you that are, this is another lover here in the background, a third party situation that you're finding out about. This was a system of people that was helping somebody cheat on you and they're all getting exposed and that's you cutting them loose, this death, this transition and moving forward and allowing you to present yourself or the person that you're supposed to be with to present themselves because they're definitely waiting for you on the other side of this thing. But oh yeah, somebody's intentions, they had a choice here. And it look, looks like they're making some bad choices. What was being done in the dark is now being illuminated here with this sun. I see it. Mm, that's his betrayal. The six of cups, the six of sticks, and the courting the six. Oh yeah, six, six, six. Will somebody Google that and drop that in the comment section for me what that means? Um, This mother of baskets, this perfect offer this person coming to nurture you heal your broken heart job opportunities blessings coming from gemini let's get into this mother of baskets the two of knives air energy again needing to make a decision here refusing to see some things or making the tough choice the ten of coins in the reverse Tying up these loose ends. This is a happy family card, this Ten of Coins. An abundance family. For some of you Gemini folks, this person's coming in and they're going to seem almost too good to be true here with this Mother of Cups, Mother of Baskets energy. And it's going to scare you and like, oh, am I moving too fast with this person? I haven't been single that long. This person's been talking about moving very quickly. Another mother of knives here. 
the queen of swords, this is somebody setting some boundaries. And this could be that you're setting up boundaries, one, to protect yourself, but two, to keep people away, Gemini. You're getting rid of this toxic person, these toxic people here, and this new person is coming your way. And you have to, with this mother of knives and this Gemini energy, use all of your energy and discernment to make good decisions, to set some healthy boundaries, to allow this person to show you that they are serious, but also for you to feel comfortable because you can't completely close people out here. You're not going to get anywhere with that because with this ace of knives, you're blocking communication, not trying to hear this person's text messages, screening your calls, letting them go to voicemail and texting them back. And this person is coming serious with an offer of love here with this daughter of baskets. This is that knight of cups, that ace of cups coming and being presented to you. This person is serious, but because of your past, because of this crazy situation here in the past, all this gossip, confusion, people talking behind your back, getting all caught up in your business, you're nervous about accepting this offer, the devil here. So we have the lovers and the devil both in the reverse. This is you releasing yourself from a toxic situation, Gemini. This is you releasing yourself from self-sabotage. For some of you folks, this is, the, you're, this is the last time you're letting an addiction or somebody else's addiction affect you. Someone else's vices, their gambling, lust get the best of you. Oh no, you are totally in control of yourself. Gemini, juggling. All of these twos, the two of wands, the two of swords. What do we have? The two of wands, the two of something, the two of coins came out, the two of wands, and we had another two in here, balancing, bringing balance back into our situation, choices with the sixes. We have the devil here and the lovers, choices, decisions, doing things differently and releasing yourself from self-sabotage. This is you doing things differently. You're transitioning. The glow up is real. Gemini, let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll be checking in with you soon. Air Sign family, keep it real.